today's question, how much, basically, how much grace is there available for us? Uh, let me see. If we keep on deliberately sinning, uh, I know I've done this since I've become a Christian. Is there no way to ask for forgiveness for these sins? And they list some examples of some sins that they had done. Uh, some days I've like, uh, been parts back and forth. Okay, I feel terrible about this because I so desperately want Jesus in my life. I want to have him love me, and I want to follow him with all my heart. But I've also made mistakes, and I feel terrible down to my inner bones. I am also really scared of going to hell. So, oh, oh my nose is itching. So um, we all make mistakes, and there's allowances for that. There's grace for us. The word talks about if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins. So we don't need to let that become an obstacle between us and God, right? If we're feeling like we're always having to earn our salvation constantly, then we're not in a right relationship. We're not approaching it with the freedom and confidence that we have because salvation has already been paid for. We just have to receive it. It's not based on works. So it's not uh, based on how many times you sin or don't sin or how many good deeds you do or don't do. That stuff doesn't uh, factor into the equation. Okay? Now, our natural mindset, we think it does because almost everything we do in this world is by some kind of result that we do. Right? It's a natural mindset. But that's not the way it works with salvation. There was a price to be paid. Somebody else paid it, right? Jesus paid for that, paid that for us. So we don't have to worry about it. It's already paid. It's already taken care of. We don't have to worry about going to hell. We don't have to worry about losing our salvation as long as we're trying to go towards um, the prize. You know, we're trying to go to the right, the right uh, place. And I believe this person is because they said they so desperately want Jesus in their life. Those were their exact words. So in those cases, it's more like when Jesus approached Peter at the Last Supper and he was washing the well, he was a, washing the feet of all the disciples, right? And he wanted and he came to Peter and Peter said, No, don't wash, don't wash me. You know, I don't want I don't think you being Jesus, you shouldn't be washing my feet. And Jesus basically replied to him, saying, Peter, you know, we're close and everything, and you're right. But your feet are a little dirty, man. You've got to wash your feet, right? So you need cleaned up. And, and, uh, and that's the approach he has with us, right? We're all still in the body. We're still believers when we make mistakes. But sometimes we just need to get a little cleanup, you know, from time to time. So don't let that haunt you. If you feel like you make mistakes, welcome to the body of Christ. We all make mistakes. There's grace for us, and we should embrace others and help them when they make mistakes. Uh, we should not look at them as somehow inferior or they're missing it or anything like that because we all make mistakes. So the second part of that question I wanted to talk about, oh, I'm also really scared of going to hell. So if you're scared of going to hell, whatever is telling you that, is not from God. That is not the shepherd's voice. So I would recommend ignoring that, right? If you know the word, you know that you're doing the right things, you know that you're in right relationship with God. When I say doing the right things, I don't mean earning your salvation. I mean, if God has told you to correct something, then you correct it, then you do it. That's what I mean by doing the right things. If you're in a right relationship with God, and you're hearing outside voices or feeling outside whatever telling you that uh, you might be going to hell, ignore those voices. Those voices or those feelings are not from God. Just ignore those things. So that's the question. Those are my thoughts and answers. If you have your own thoughts you'd like to add to the conversation, put them in the comments section down below. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, and I'll uh, be talking to you soon.